Hello all, today I'll be showing you how to undervolt an NVIDIA GTX 1070 Founders Edition. So, after you've downloaded MSI Afterburner from the MSI website, you can go down to Settings, click Unlock Voltage Control, and then click Reference Design since the Founders Edition series of cards are reference design cards. In other words, the cards are made by the manufacturer of the chipset. You're going to click Apply. Um, it'll prompt you to restart Afterburner. I already restarted it in a previous session, so I'll click no, but just click yes, and um, after it restarts, you'll have the voltage unlocked. And so you can click Curve Editor. Oh, I didn't reset this. Um, that's reset. Okay, so... <clears throat> The next thing you're going to want to do is go down to core clock, drag that down to its minimum setting, and you'll see this line move down. You can see the uh, the curve in here where it was originally is still outlined. So you're going to go to 900 um, millivolts, megavolts, I'm not sure. But you're going to drag it up to the previous maximum of or maximum frequency, that's 900 megahertz. You're going to fine tune it to 900 or 1900 megahertz. And then you're going to click apply and that should snap it all up into a straight line. And so your, your graph is going to look like this. And so what this is doing is this is making your, your card reach, um, 1900 megahertz at 900 volts or 900 millivolts rather than around 1125 millivolts so it's just making the card achieve its maximum clock speed at a at a lower voltage but anyway you're going to want to run a stability test and I wouldn't click save until you're absolutely certain that your graphics card is stable but once you figure out that it's stable, you can just go ahead and click save and then save it to one of these profiles here. I've saved it to number two. Number one is just my default settings in case I need to quickly switch to default or for whatever reason. Anyway, that is how you undervolt a GTX 1070 Founders Edition.